this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and today I am playing a brand new mini game, which has just been added to the console versions of Minecraft, assuming you're watching this when the video came out and not years down the road, otherwise you'll be saying, what are you talking about, this game's been around for ages. Anyway, we are playing Glide, and oh, look at this, there's a new lobby as well, look at this, a new place to, to hang out in, and uh, I guess a lot more secrets for me to discover, but yeah, this is a, a Glide game, so uh, basically you're going to be doing a lot of gliding, um, this is, as I said, my first time playing it, so I don't know much about it. There's a time attack mode and a score attack mode. I'm going in first to do the, the time attack mode first. I don't know, it just seemed less scary to, to start off with, but I don't think I'm going to be very good because I haven't done much gliding in Minecraft anyway because I don't have an end in my lovely world, so I don't have the uh, the, the Elytra, uh, so is this a sneaky pressure plate? Aha, I knew there's going to be secrets all around the place, but yeah, so I've not done much gliding just in Minecraft in general. So I'm probably going to do pretty awful in this, but uh, yeah, it's good just to get a bit of practice in and just to, to work out what it's all going to, to be about. So uh, looks like we have 15 seconds until we start. And I'm just, I'm just here hovering. I'm just here floating by my by myself. I can't see where any of the, the other players are. I guess maybe because it's a, a time attack mode. Maybe I don't see them anyway. But right, we are off. Oh, there we go. There they are. It looks like we all just start from the exact same place. And I think I'm in the lead. Look at this. I think I had an early lead, but I want to, to make sure I don't fall down too low. And oh no, I missed that. I think that was like a boost pad there. Let's see if we can go and get this one. And did that make me go faster? I'm getting scarily close to the, the ground here, which is worrying me a little bit. And there we go. That was a, a big speed boost there. I've not crashed yet, and I'm definitely happy about that. And whoa, I nearly hit the ground there, though. <laughs> so you go much faster when you're kind of going down rather than up. But if you go too far down, then you're going to end up crashing into the, the ground. I wonder if they if they changed it and made it so you're not kind of continually dropping in the same way you used to. No, 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 I died. Is that is that me just failed? Okay, okay, I get to, to carry on from where I was, but that would have been very damaging from my time because I'm all the, the way back now. So it's probably good I'm getting this practice in because uh, I'm going to be uh, very shortly uh, playing against 4J Studios, uh, who actually made the, the game. And so they've been they've been playing it a lot while they've been making it. And we're having a, a, a tournament uh, in, just, uh, in just about an hour or so. So that video is going to be coming up uh, online sooner as well. But uh, yeah, it'd be good to get at least a little bit of practice in. I know I'm not going to, to beat any of them, but it'd be nice just to, to not completely embarrass myself. But this track is really long. I didn't realize how long it's going to go for. So it looks like these arrows, they're the speed boosts. And where you can kind of see, oh, this isn't good. <laughs> where you can see the, the air, I think that's kind of what boosts you up. So these areas here, I think they don't make you go faster, but yeah, they just kind of slowly lift you back up in the, the air so you can kind of get a bit higher. So let's mainly go for these, these speed boosts that boost you forward. And whoa, that was a lot of boosts in a row there and probably not a good idea. Oh no, all the way back here. This is going to be, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down officially the worst time ever. So let's skip that one. Let's go down here. And oh, I missed the, uh, the next speed boost but I can go down here and this can lift me up and let's uh let's try and go a little bit slower then let's kind of calm down a little bit because I think I'm trying to go a bit too fast and it's not going well but there we go I was able to to just get a, a checkpoint then there so that's going to uh, to, to allow me to carry on uh, something else by the way in the the update uh, is they've added uh, more players to the the game so now in the the mini games you can have up to 16 players when before I think it was eight players that you could have a, in a game so that includes like the the battle mini game and I'm assuming Tumblr as well. So it's going to be kind of fun going back to the, the battle mini game to, to have it with 16 players because I don't know if they've made the, the maps any bigger because 16 players on some of those other maps is going to be well, it's going to be a little bit crazy, so that's kind of something that I'm looking forward to, to doing uh, as well. Is this just... Have, have I just been going in a circle here? Is this just how long the, the course is? Oh, we're going to go down. Down, 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 down. Whoa, that was a big speed boost. Okay, I definitely haven't seen that part before. And there we go. There's the finish line. And... Oh, we're in the, the showdown. What does the showdown mean? <laughs> oh, I get to I get to just wander around the end, right? How did I do? So I got a score of uh, of two minutes and fifty six seconds, which doesn't seem very good. But to be fair, there's a lot of people that they're still racing. So I must have been faster than these people. I think there were some people that kind of joined in throughout the, the game as we were, were going. And now look, they only have a certain amount of seconds to, to reach the end. So at least I was able to, to go and make it to the, the end. <laughs> that was so much fun. Like, I'm awful. I'm absolutely awful. I knew I would be awful just because I've not really flown with these things at all, like, anyway in the, the normal game. So I knew I was going to be rubbish. That was a given. But I had a lot of fun at the, the same time, so it doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out. And I'm going to load up a... um 
Uh, another game. I know. I think. Oh, have I just gone straight back in? Oh, we're going again. We're going again. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna cut ahead. I'm gonna load up another game, and I'm gonna try out the the score attack mode because I kind of saw it uh, a little bit in the the trailer. And it seems like there's like rings that you need to fly through to to get points. There's something else to to aim for. So it's probably gonna be more challenging than the the time attack mode. But I definitely uh, want to to check it out. So yeah, uh, let's go and switch over to to that now. Okay, welcome back. I've now loaded up a lobby for the score attack mode. Uh, before we get into it though, I just want to show you that I ended up winning the last round. So basically it seems like you do three rounds and then it, I think it adds up like who was first, second and third or something and I ended up winning. I got uh, one minute and 35 seconds in my final run so that was quite exciting. But anyway, welcome back to, to this lobby. There's a lot of people joining. It's weird seeing so many people in, in a game on the, the console versions because I've only ever seen like eight players so it's weird just seeing people just running around absolutely everywhere. That's kind of just quite exciting by itself. So, yeah, this is score attack mode. So, as I said in the trailer, I saw people flying through rings. And so I'm guessing that's how you get the points. Uh, I wonder whether there's there's different color rings that give you different amount of points. But yeah, I guess we're we're going to, to try and find it out. And look at all of these people. Look at this crowd charging me down. Multiple hit the targets. There's another Stampy Cat. Master Chief's here. A gorilla. <laughs> it's all happening right now in the, the lobby. So it looks like this is the same level. So I don't know if this is the only level in the game. So in the trailer, once again, uh, it did say like more tracks kind of coming soon. So uh, yeah, I wonder whether that means that there is only... Uh, uh, this one available for now but the good thing is it's free you know you just load up the the console version and you just have this and it's just free so you can't you can't really complain when that's the the case there so all right let's try and work this out as fast as we can so uh, i got three points for that ring there so i guess the green rings are, are three points and then let's see uh, let's see what these yellow ones are i reckon they're going to to be more just because they're smaller and i think oh, i think they're five points i think they are so the yellow ones i believe unless i'm mistaken are five and then these are three. And I don't think you can smash into the, the rings either. I think that the, the rings are pretty solid. Oh, look, there's a little one here. There's a little tiny one. And oh, was that like 10 or so? I don't know how many that was. That was that was a lot of points there. It's hard to, to keep track of your score and and fly and glide and do everything else at the, the same time. So it's weird because I need to I need to not worry about being fast. I can kind of take a lot of the, the longer routes and the, the detours. Because look, there's so many little secret areas. Oh, look at this area. I mean, I died going through it but there's so many shortcuts and like different routes that you could go to to make your way across and actually I didn't look whether I lost any points when I died because I guess in theory I could keep failing and going back to a checkpoint and getting more points that way. I'm assuming they would have thought of that and there's going to be some reason to stop that. So maybe you do lose uh, points when you uh, you die. So I'm not going to I'm not going to attempt that for for now, but something interesting to, to think about. But now uh, let's just go and get as many of these rings as we can. I just love the sound effect. It's such a, a little satisfying ding noise as you fly for it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I thought I was going to make it, but sadly I did. It's, oh my God, I got 47 points now. I think the lead has got like 74 four points though i need to i need to step my game up i don't make it make it make it make it make it there we go i was able to, to make it this time but am i gonna make it to the next one i don't think i am why am i doing so so rubbish now i was doing okay at the 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 speed one the the time attack one but now i'm doing rubbish here i need to to keep my speed up going down here and then get the speed up so i think the trick is is to you need to kind of alternate by by looking down and then going forward. So you need to get some speed up and then look up and kind of alternate between the two. Like I know that's kind of the, the normal way to get speed, but I am just failing here. I wonder if there's another sneaky route. Let's go, let's go down this way then. Are there any um uh, any other rings down there? Oh look, there's one at the top there. Oh, can I get this one? Let's see if I can loop around. There we go. I was able to loop around and get it the other direction. That was really satisfying to, to be able to, to do that. And oh, uh, I think uh, I think I need to reach the end still. Okay. So I I wonder what happens if I don't reach the end. Do I lose out on all my points? Hopefully I don't lose my points because I've just been going like so ridiculously slow this entire time. So what have I got? I got 62 at the moment and I was looking at the score rather than where I was going. And I think I've just failed the, the first round now anyway. So, oh, I didn't get anything. Okay, so if you don't get to the end in time, then you end up failing. So I think that might be a good reason why you don't want to, to keep dying and uh, and going back. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so let's let's try and keep my my speed up a little bit more. And let's try and focus more on the, the, the higher value rings because those those green ones they're pretty easy to to get 
but you don't get a, a, a huge amount of points for them. So when I can, I'm really going to go and try and go out of my way to, to get these yellow ones. Am I going to get that one? No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Maybe I should have just settled on the, the green one. I should be able to get this one there. There we go. So able to get that one and another green. And oh, I just keep missing them. Like I just see out of the, the corner of my eye when I pass them that there's one there, but I'm not able to, to get it. I might be able to get this one through here though. There we go. That was a bit of a sneaky route. I need to boost myself up here a little bit and let's keep going. Remember, speed doesn't matter as much. I need to get to the end in time, but I don't need to, to, to do it at a, a crazy speed. As long as I can get as many points uh, on the, the way, then that will be fine by me. So that was a nice little uh, run there. There's still people with way more points. There's someone with 49 points right now. I have 41. So they they are doing extremely well. And can I get this one? There we go. I was just about able to get that one. And there's one above there, and I did see it, but I don't think I was going to be able to, to get it. I think that one was a, a little bit too high for, for me there. So I, I played it safe. And this is where I keep my up. This is where I keep not having enough speed. So hopefully I'm going to have enough speed to make it up like this. And there we go. No problems. This time we can go through that ring and go this way. And let's go for the yellow one instead of the green one to maximize uh, my points. And now it looks like I should be able to, to safely make it to the, the end. But I just need to get as many points on the other way. No, look, there's one in the middle. Oh, look at this one. Oh, no, 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 I died. This gives me a chance to, to go for it again, though. Hopefully there we go. So it's right here. I'm not going to have enough speed, am I? Am I going to? No, I'm not going to have enough speed. I'm going to have to loop around the outside. Oh, that's annoying. If I was a little bit lower, I would have been able to, to get that one. Am I going to make it that oh, I didn't even make it to, to here. It is much harder. Like, once you've, um failed once, you kind of lose a lot of your your speed, and it's kind of easy to, to kind of keep failing again. Like, I know there's just kind of some strategy to it that I, I just don't know yet, but, like, once I've kind of failed, I was like, look how slow I'm going now when I start off, and it's kind of hard to, to get back into the, the swing of things after that. So let's just try and make it to, to this air pocket. There we go. So I should be able to, to carry on now. And, oh, am I going to be able to make this yellow one? I am not. Oh, I should have just gone uh, safe and gone for the, the green one, but I think we're coming up to the, the big drop now. I can't get any of those rings, but I was able to make my way down here. And oh, look, there was rings all the way down the drop. And oh no, I missed that one. These are the, the really high value ones here. But it looks like I'm going to definitely be able to, to make it to the end. So there we go. At least at least I was able to, to reach the end. I am not going to be doing any amazing scores. To be fair, I wasn't that far down. What did I get? I got 80 points. Uh, number one was uh, was 97. So it was only, only 17 points difference. So not the, the most incredible run, but I had fun. But I think we do three rounds. So let's go and uh, go straight into a, another round of the, the score attack. It certainly seems to, to be the, the more advanced version of the, the two. It seems like uh, it's good to start with time attack. And you can do it solo, by the way. If you're scared to, to go online and uh, to have everyone else see in your score, you can do it solo and your score does still count to, towards the, the leaderboard. So I pretty recommend for your first go uh, starting off uh, with that. But then again, it doesn't really matter because because the other players don't really affect you very much. It's just kind of quite cool. Like, look at this. Look at everyone just flying around all over the place. It's just kind of quite cool to, to see a bunch of other players flying around. But, like, you can't bang into them or anything. It's more just, like, you don't want to be embarrassed if you don't do very well. Like, I haven't been doing very well. That's kind of the, the only reason you might want to, to play online. I'm also... I'm not, I don't know whether it's... um I'm not sure if it's better to, to, to do it with... um. Uh, in third person view like I'm doing now or first person like I don't know, I feel like first person might overall be easier to go, but I kind of like doing it in third person just because it looks quite cool. It's just quite cool being able to to see yourself flying and the, the wings and stuff. So yeah, I'm not sure which is going to be the, the best way to, to go, but it does seem like you really don't want to crash at all because once you um uh, do your, your first crash, that's when you lose all of your, your speed and things often, no pun intended, go downhill <laughs> from uh, from there. That was a, a nice little run there. I took a bit of a, of a detour and was able to, to get a few little bonus points. It's those those, uh, it's those high value blue ones though. They're definitely the ones that you want to go out of your way to, to get. So that one that was in the, the middle of that area, I'm really going to try hard to, to try and get that one this time uh, because that one seemed very doable. I just kind of messed it up. So let's, uh, let's when we start getting close to, to that area, let's really make sure I go out of my way to, to be able to, to get that one because that's going to be a lot of bonus points. And here it is. This is the part I need to go down. Oh no, I did it again. Oh no, 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 no. Can I get it? Can I get it? Oh no. I hit the, the little roof bit there 
and I don't think it's now going to be possible for me to, to get it. To be honest, I'm just going to be happy just to, to make it around here because that was a <laughs> what I kept failing before. Can I make it to the I can't make it to the air again. What am I doing? What am I doing wrong on this section? Because there's nowhere else really to, to boost me up. So I don't know unless I kind of cut through the, the middle there. Unless I just need to ignore that ring all together. But it's just really hard to make your way around once you've um once you've kind of messed up once. So how many points? I got 74 points right now. I'm in bronze place at the, the moment, actually. So this is a this might be a, a pretty good score if I am able to make it to the end. And oh, I wasn't able to make it across again. Well, let's try and just uh let's try and get a really big boost from here. And then can I like cut across the middle in here somewhere? Is that gonna happen? I think I'm gonna fail. I just, this is this is what I need the the practice on. So if you have played uh, this uh, this mini game more than me, and you have any any tips for 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 getting better speed, feel free to to let me know because I need as many tips uh, as I can right now. But oh no, I've got 13 seconds to make it to the the end. But we are quite close to the the end. So let's not worry too much about all of these rings because I need to get to the end if I'm going to get any points whatsoever. And here's the finish line: two, one, and I did it. I was just able to make it to the end. Literally, in the last second, I was able to make it across the finish line. That was awesome. <laughs> Didn't get a huge amount of points because I kept failing, but at least I was able to, to make my way across to the, the end. But I didn't get the, the best score. It looks like uh, Skater154 was the champion of, uh, of that round there. So there we go. That was my first few games and first impressions of the, the Glider minigame. Certainly, I need to get a, a lot more practice in. So as I said, there's going to be another video coming up soon uh, with me playing against uh, the guys from 4J, uh, as well as some other YouTubers, so uh, hopefully I'll do it a little bit better in that. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!